And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Dustin Patterson. And Dustin Patterson writes, It's hilarious that just the other day, my friend and I were watching Yellowstone and Josh Lucas popped up and we started talking about whatever happened to that guy. We hardly see him anymore. And then the next day, I read that he's starring in a new giant shark movie called The Black Demon. What have you heard about it? And what do you think of Lucas as an actor? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, I completely agree with you. I really like Josh Lucas. I remember, like for me, maybe he was around before this, but for me, where I really took notice of Josh Lucas was when he did that Reese Witherspoon movie, Sweet Home Alabama. Do you guys remember that? I thought he was really good in that. I thought, I thought he was really good. And I thought this guy is going to be a huge star, huge star in this business. Now he has certainly had a very nice career, but it's never kind of hit those peaks that I thought he really has the talent and the potential to be. I mean, he was the villain in that one Hulk movie, by the way, in the, I believe it was the Ang Lee Hulk movie that he was kind of the bad guy in. Anyway, uh, I've really liked him in a lot of stuff, but yes, he's got a brand new movie coming out that they just talked about and it's called the black demon. It's a movie about a Megalodon. Only it's not called Meg and it's not a spinoff of Meg. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who writes, The Black Demon follows oil man Paul Sturgis, played by Josh Lucas, as he takes his family on vacation to Baha'i Azul. There, the coastal town he and his wife once knew has mysteriously crumbled and the locals are now nowhere to be found. Paul starts off his day with a routine visit to inspect his nearby oil rig. But before he knows it, his entire family has landed with him on one of the rotting metal towers. From the depths of the ocean rises a massive megalodon known only by its name, the Black Demon. Under constant threat from this primeval species of shark, Paul must find a way to get his family back to the shore alive. And this comes to us from the folks over at Variety. All right. This movie sounds... Like a lot of movies, like what was guys in the live chat? Help me out here. What was the name of that Blake Lively movie where wasn't she like she was on a raft or not a raft, like a, some kind of floating dock or a buoy or something. And she had to try to get back to the thing, but there was a shark that was going to get the reef. Thank you. Sam Kodos was the first one to get it in there. Or was it the shallows? Oh, no. Was it the shallows or the reef? It wasn't the deep. That was a different one. And it wasn't 47 meters, Dennis. But we'll go with the majority. The majority are saying the shallows. Okay. So it sounds a little bit like shallows. Oh, no, we're stranded on this thing. We got to get there. But there's sharks between us and there. There have been a lot of shark movies recently, like a, a whole ton of shark movies. And there's even one about a megalodon that took 15 years for them to get made. And it finally came out with Jason Statham punching a shark in the face. Let me say that again. They waited 15 years to make a movie to have Jason Statham who I love, I love Jason Statham, but to have Jason Statham punch a shark in the face and the whole world cheered. And now we got another one. Look, does this sound rather formulaic? Yes. Does this sound like we've seen it 30 or 40 times? Yes. But I'm not going to lie to you. I think it also sounds interesting. I, th I th personally think it sounds pretty interesting. It sounds like it could be a fun watch. And it sounds like there might also be maybe a little bit of a supernatural thing to it. Like, because, okay, there's a big shark in the water. Why does that make the town deserted? Maybe there's more meaning to the name of the movie, The Black Demon. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. But maybe there's also a little bit of a supernatural angle that we'll find out. But, yes, let me let me talk again for a second about Josh Lucas. So, I first of all, I was thrilled, like you were, to see that he popped up in Yellowstone. I really like seeing him pop up in Yellowstone. I've been loving that show, by the way. It's playing the younger version of uh, John Dutton. So I think that was really good to see him in there. But he's done other things, too. Like, he was in Ford v. Ferrari recently. It was really good seeing him in that. Um, he did that Glory Road movie, which was really good. Um, what else has he done over the years? I'm bringing up his IMDb right now, just so I can take a look. Oh, fair, he was in that The Firm TV series where he was in Jay Edgar. Uh, so I forgot about that. But yeah, it's... 
it's just a it's an interesting situation with Josh Lucas. Again, he's just that guy that I think has the talent and the chops and the charisma to be a much higher tiered actor in this business than he is. But that's just kind of my opinion. And yes, while it does sound like a little, it's a little cliche-ish, I am looking forward to seeing the Black Demon, but it'll probably be terrible, but I think it might be a little bit of fun. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about the sounds of the Black Demon? Does it sound good to you or excited about it? Does it just sound like just another shark movie? I don't blame you if you do. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.